The Prusa XL is the most expensive 3D printer that I have. I think this one costs, what, 2,500 or something, and it only has one head because it has some issues. And the issue is with the filament sensor calibration, I can never get it to calibrate the left filament sensor um, and, or the side filament sensor because it fails every time, but not for any reason. Check this out. So I'm gonna make sure when I'm going through it, I'm gonna make sure that, you know, to start, it doesn't have any filament in the sensor. And you'll see that it says, oh, okay, cool. No filament in the sensor. And the sensor actually works fine. Prusa even sent me a new one and it works fine. But yeah, there's no filament. So I'm gonna hit no. And it says, okay, cool. Now I know there's no filament. And so I'm gonna go ahead and load it in and watch. It's gonna say, oh yeah, I know there's filament now. Uh, see, it says on, which means that it knows there's filament. Now I'm gonna load it all the way in from the side filament sensor through here to the tool filament sensor here. And that whole time, this is gonna say on, on that left side, because it knows that it has filament. There's not an issue with the actual sensor. And now that it reached the tool sensor, it says, oh yeah, all good. Everything's working and I can sense the filament. So I go ahead and hit continue and watch this. Test failed and it disables the side filament sensor every single time. And this is incredibly annoying because I can't start a print without it saying, please complete the filament or the, the calibration tests, but it will not complete the filament calibration. And what's worse and way more significant is that I can't rely on that side filament sensor because it's always disabled. Every time, multiple different firmwares working with Prusa support, they can't figure it out. And it's my most expensive printer and the filament sensor doesn't work?